This time last year, I started to volunteer and help out my little boys football team, Yate United Under Nines. Boy, what a season we have had. We still got one game left of the season, but it's been a fantastic rise. All the lads have improved massively from some of the kids not being able to kick a football at the start of the season to now we're doing tricks left right and center the smile on the boys faces just says it all they enjoy playing football they are now becoming a strong football club and a team and great friendships are being made there i've still i still see people now in the street who i play football with when i was eight nine ten years old we still chat about the good old times and the saves and the goals and you know and that is what being a part of a football team does to someone from grassroots football so i thought how far could I take my boyhood club, the team I started playing for when I was six, seven years old, which is now my son's team. It's a weird circle of life. How far can I take him in football manager? Mind you, we will be starting at the lowest league we could. We could go lower, but I haven't got that long till FM25 comes out. Let's be honest. So we're going to start in level 10. Now that's still 10 steps away from the Premier League. It's not going to be easy. And for that, we need a special database. And there's only one man you go to when you want a database that big, that special, that low down. It is, of course, Dan FM's database. It does go down all the way to level 20, but we're only going to do level 10. It is on the Steam Workshop. It is also, if you follow him on Twitter slash X, he has a link there. It is also on FM Scout, Passion for FM websites. It's on new numerous websites but this is on the steam workshop you can download it here and just go click subscribe which you're already done as you can see now yate united are a very small football club in the past year they have now combined themselves with the yate town football club so yate united are from under sevens to under 16s next season there's going to be an under 18s team but it's more for the yate town side so once to leave under 16s and go into under 18s and be yate town under 18s and yate town then grow and get United to grow. The club's 53 years old, and this is the first time they've ever really collaborated with another club, so local club at least, and the future is bright at the moment for Yate United. The boys currently play at Yate Outdoor Sports Complex, which is located just behind Brincham Green School. On Google Maps, you can actually see our pitch. This is it, looking lovely. Because they are under nines, we only play seven aside at the moment. So this size of a pitch is absolutely fantastic for us. Uh, Yosk is behind us there. That's the Yosk main centre. You've got a running track going around. You can just see it in the distance. So we'll zoom in a little bit. There you go. There's the running track behind. And behind these here is the other pitches, which are used for 11 a side, 9 a side. But because we have two under-9 teams... We have like Yate United Under 9s and Yate United Under 9s Reds. We need two separate pitches, and our pitch is just up here. We have one goal this end, one goal that end. Can't really, there's no lines marked out, you can't see. Google Maps needs to update this because this is four years old. Scrap that, this is five years old, and all this has been now replaced. So, with the managerial style, we have gone coaching badges based on on Yate United, which is a national aid license, and our past playing experience, I'm a volunteer. You know, I've got no past playing experience. We are a Sunday league footballer, and they've been quite nice in all fairness. Coaching attributes have been quite nice, tactical, mental, and set pieces. Maybe we've dropped that down to two, and we have working with youngsters at 12 instead. And here we go. Yeah, United hire Spencer. The kit is homemade. Um, I made it myself. Badges there, as you can see. We are sponsored by QuickFit, our main sponsor for the club. But today, Yeah, United have today confirmed the appointment of Lee Spencer as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of an inexperienced 37-year-old, and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Yeh Outdoor Sports Complex. Carl Rose was considered to be the favourite for the job, but it's unclear whether the club favoured Spencer all along. I'm not sure who Carl Rose is. There you go. But hashtag people, not players. That is the ha hashtag that United use. We have a half-star reputation, but media prediction is 
first for the league. We do have a director of football, Charlie Cully. I have assistant manager, Simon Collins. The year we were founded in 1971. Our facilities is a gate outdoor sport, sports complex, which you've already seen. It's a 2,000-seater stadium. It's not. It's a field. But I need a stadium. We have basic training facilities, basic youth facilities, and basic youth recruitment. Wage budget of £475 a week. No um, transfer budget. Status financially, we're okay. Although they've never won a competition, the club are enjoying probably their best spell of success this decade. At the start of the game, I did click the little box that says add players to playable teams. Otherwise, we're just going to have a bunch of grayed out players. Also, I have disabled the first transfer window. So the players we've got should be here for the majority of the season. I have no idea how good this team is going to be or how bad it's going to be. It's completely out of my hands. So let's see what this squad looks like. So this is the team that have been given to us. Do you know what? It's not a bad looking... Forget the star ratings. They don't mean nothing at this low down. Because apparently Bill Bartley... Is a very, very good player, and he is actually quite a good player. As a midfielder, centre midfield. Could work on his passing. There's Mark. He's a long way to go. 22 years old, Englishman. He will do very nicely. Also, another five star is we've got a 16 year old, Liam Skinner. A left wing or attacking mid. We can train him as left wing. He's quite tidy. He's quite tidy. Could improve a lot. Who else have we got? We've got uh, Michael Gillot as a right back. He's quite tidy. He is quite tidy. Good head. We've got Daniel Roberts as a plays as a attacking midfielder all across the uh, pitch. Daniel Roberts, Welsh 25 Welshman. He doesn't look too bad as well. And goalkeeper Emma Ibrahim. Decent goalkeeper for this time. 26 years old. Could do worse. Could do worse. Six foot as well. Not bad. No out and out good striker. A best striker according to this is Kevin Lehman. At five foot nine. Pace finishing of a four. Four finishing is a bit uh, concerning. 27 year old Irishman. Who could partner Jordan Lewis. He's five foot eleven. So no real height. His finishing is going to be a nine. Composure, determination, off the ball, teamwork. He works hard. What do we have in our youth squad? A few. Nothing outstanding. Colin Barrett, a winger. Passing 11, technique 11. Teamwork at 14. Could improve a lot. He could be getting the call up at some point because our squad is only 17 deep. So... Being our squad 17 deep, some of these youngsters will be called up to play. Andrew Murphy, another right midfielder. Looks like we're going to be playing at least a winger formation. Ben Evans, a 15-year-old, one and a half star. That's a hell of a beard. Not bad, not bad at all. Will improve massively, given game time as well. A lot to go through. The league we're actually in is called the... Hellenic League Division 1. We're also in the FA Vars and we're in the Marsh Sports Challenge Cup. The league is like this. We have a couple of teams I know of. A couple of derbies as well. Chip and Sobby is definitely one of our main derbies. Uh, also, Timberton Rocks, not far away from us, from Yate. I said Chip and Sobby is literally half a mile down the road. That's one of the main derbies. We can't lose that one. Definitely not. Uh, Cheltenham Soundsons, Cranfield, Devizes, FC Bristol, FC Stratford, Hartbury University, Inkborough Reserves, Longreedon, Malmesbury, Morton Rangers, Newton, Shortwood United, Southampton United, Stonehouse just down the road as well. 19 teams. Season preview we are second to go up behind Hartford University at five to one favorites finances we don't have a lot we have 474 wage budget we're currently spending 470 like I said the transfer window is closed it has been turned off for the first transfer window so no one's going to be able to buy anyone come well 
till January at least. Money wise, we've just got over need just under two grand. Um, hopefully, over the course of the season, that will grow the further we go in the cups. We're looking good. We've got the three kits. We've got the home kit, the red, which is red and black. We've got the away kit, which is yellow and black. The special edition white kit, which I think looks pucker. Looks fantastic. And our schedule for the season, we start with a trip away to the Visors Town. And then a home tie to Ink Barrow Reserves. That is going to be in the next episode. We're going to run through pre-season. We'll sort the squad out. We'll sort the tactics out. We'll do a little bit of tactic talk before we get into the into the first game of this season. If you have enjoyed today's episode, just smash the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all very, very soon for the next episode of All or Nothing Yates United.